everybody in YouTube, it's Maria, and I'm making a new video to show you a discovery I've made. i um, so excited that this works. I did some research because I've always wanted to explore the Tenori On. I do not really want to spend the money that a Tenori On W costs, uh, and a few years back they made a, uh, a more reasonably priced version. But with that came a few things that are missing. You know, there's some omissions on the uh, lesser priced one, and, you know, rightly so. Uh, the one that's very expensive has lights on the back. This one doesn't. It's also made of magnesium. But for me, the worst part about it, besides the high cost, was the fact that it wasn't battery operated. And this thing is really small, and I thought, this is the kind of thing you want to take to, you know, the park or your front porch or the couch and not be attached to a wall outlet. So I did some research, as I said before, and I'm so happy to report that a Google search got me to Gear Sluts. I believe that's how you say it. And someone had the same query that I did. And one of the other folk on there on the thread answered this person and said, yes, there is a way to make it battery operated. Dun, dun, dun. Here it is. There's my little battery-operated pack. It's a little heavy only because eight AA batteries can weigh a little bit, but that's about the extent of it. I use Velcro strips on the back, and it stays. It's really solid. It's not going anywhere. And it's awesome that this plug fit. I emailed the person who bought this, and they assured me that they had plenty of playing time just on one set of batteries, and I can attest to that fact as this has probably been on, you know, obviously on and off, but for the four days that I have this unit, it's, I probably have it on nine hours at least. And so it's really exciting for me that it's, you know, it's lasting a long time. There's an off switch here you have to remember to shut or it possibly could drain the battery a little bit. So there's an off switch here, and there's the on-off here in the Tenori. And without further ado, let's explore some of the little secrets and things that I found through my YouTube searches and friends on the iPad Musician Forum and fa on Facebook. And uh, so here it is. This is the Tenorion. I created a little uh, rhythm last night. And the first thing you're going to hear is like a drone. And um, people don't often know that you could do this. I didn't realize this either. That on one of the layers is called a push mode and I put it down here first and that's something you can only do if you've upgraded your uh, updated the so firmware and you go into something called advanced mode which is not told to you by anybody in Yamaha but people are wonderful and they discovered this that if you uh, press a certain key combination and turn the unit on it goes into advanced mode and it stays there even when you shut it off as long as you don't take it out of advanced mode so with that, you can change the mode. So you can change the fact that before it was score, 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 that it had random, random, bounce, you know, uh, and then a solo mode. You can have as many layers, 16 layers, you can have all score, you can have all bounce, whatever your heart desires. So this is push, and I'm going to move it to the next block. And now I just added a kick drum, which is on this layer, so you can see it. I can add anything else I wanted. If you press hard, then it stays on the lit and it keeps repeating. And then the next block, just building. And I added a little, this little bent. minor so with uh, also the updates so you can do scales this is the aeolian scale which is the minor scale and then i put um on the transposition let me see if it's here it's here on one of 
of these here. Master transpose, you probably can't see it, but it's in the screen. It says negative one, which means it's a half a step away from C. Middle C is kind of your basis, your ground, and you just go from C. Plus one would be up here, which would be a C sharp or a D minor. I mean, a D flat, C sharp or D flat. And this is minor. Or if you go half a step this way, this would be B minor. So that's what this is, the key of B minor. Kind of a more somber sound. And then I added something else on another layer. Not even sure where I did that. And um, I like the piano. I'll uh, demonstrate the piano sound. And you can have the speed of each loop increase, so this that'll be faster. Quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth uh, notes, and I believe thirty second is the fastest. There's draw mode. Let's see if I can find that. And I'll repeat it. This is another fun one. Let me see if I could find that one. There's one bounce right there. You can have it go fast. And then you can set it to quantize by hitting this button and this button. And it resets the groove if it kind of gets off. Remove it that way if you just have one to remove. I like that little finger snappy thing. Honestly, I don't remember where I did it. So there's push mode, which is the sustain, draw mode where you draw it and it repeats it. There's random mode, which can get a little crazy. Let me see if I can find that one. Here's random. And you can actually spin it. And now I'm going to reset the groove. And then you can actually, when you cancel this, what happens is it becomes almost like a solo mode. Nothing stays. You can't make it stay. So I thought it was a bug, but I also Googled that and found out if you hit L4 and one note, it should reset itself. Maybe I'm hitting the wrong one. I can't see. Oh, it's hitting wrong. L4, hold on to it for a few seconds, and now you can go back. Uh, what else? I did bounce, push, solo again. I have others, a kalimba. A little violin somewhere I hear. I don't remember what mode that was. Probably score mode. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. It's climbing the scale. Da, 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 da. See? And that's that. Let's move the blocks. And this is how you can build a song, just, you know, moving the layers. And you can record this. You can't export a wave, but you can certainly plug it into your DAW or your iPad. 
and just play the recording and the lights will, you know, show up just as if you wrote when you wrote it, which is kind of nice. So it records all your movements. I find it a bit mesmerizing. So advanced mode is something you want to get involved in. Push those nice sustains. You can import user samples, which is what I used here, some Akai MPC samples. There's a user, three user banks. And you want to go back to just some more mellow. on a few, you know, layers and blocks, create a whole, you could do some nice ambient music, a lot of people don't realize that. to play a Tenorion, and now you can be portable. Thank you.